Good morning. Welcome back to our science class, which is basically the earth and life science. In today's topic or lesson, we have the layers of the earth. Now, this is something similar to the experiment you have done on your junior high year in which you have a boiled egg and then you cut that egg into the middle to uh, to determine which is which in the layers of the earth which part is the crust which part is the uh, mantle and the inner and outer core that is basically our topic for today although we are not going to cut out some boiled egg okay so be sure that you have your uh, notes as well as your uh, pen in order to take down notes of the names of these layers as well as the uh, definition of those uh, layers of the earth now without further ado let us begin so one of the layers of the earth that we know is the crust in your uh, in comparison to the egg analogy that is the shell of the egg the hard shell of the egg in terms of the world that we know the earth the crust refers to the upper layer of the earth that is the home of life here it is the surface you walk on for example you are walking down the street that is a part of the crust um, mountains is also a part of the earth's crust so basically crust is everything that we see on the surface of the earth anything that is made up of rock and sand and pebbles and sometimes gravel now there is two uh two types of crust we have the dry crust also called uh, or called as uh, continental crust and we have the uh, crust beneath the ocean that is called the oceanic crust now the difference between the two is that the oceanic crust is wet and the continental crust is dry now that is the first layer that is the crust now you might be thinking that the next layer is mantle which is you are correct but before we go to that we need to to pass to a certain boundary called the mohorobi kick or mohorobi chick discontinuity now this was discovered by andrea mohorobi chick or mohorobi kick is it is the thin layer that separates the crust to the mantle now that is the name mohorobi chick or mohorobi kick depending on what you uh prefer on saying about that i will just uh provide you the pronunciation word in the dictionary of the mohorobi kick or mohorobi chick uh, remember the name of the discoverer that is andrea mohorobi Okay, then from the Morobi discontinuity, we have the mantle. As we know, mantle is the layer below the crust and is considered as the thickest layer of the earth. It holds about 84% of the volume of our planet. And it is divided into two parts. Okay, we have the upper mantle, which is as we know, the upper mantle is the home to the lithosphere and asthenosphere when we say uh lithosphere and asthenosphere this is the place where in the magma from the volcano is being stored okay and below that lower mantle we have the inner mantle or the lower mantle as i have prepared to say now it is much softer than the upper mantle and it is uh, partially or not totally liquid now below the lower mantle we have another boundary that separates the mantle to the core and that is called the gutenberg discontinuity 
It was discovered by Benno Gutenberg. It is different from Johann Gutenberg who discovered the uh, wood printing press way back in 1800s. Okay, so Benno Gutenberg is or Benno Gutenberg was an scientist of course and he discovered that boundary between the mantle and the outer core so what's next after the mantle the next one is the gutenberg uh the the outer core okay. the outer core as we know it uh it is a liquid iron and nickel that is the outer core However, the inner core is a solid nickel and iron core of the earth. Now, question, is there a boundary between the outer core and the inner core? Yes, there is. And that is called the Lehmann's discontinuity. It was discovered by Heinz Lehmann. It is the boundary between the upper and the inner core. Any questions so far? Let us have a recap from the top. Okay? From the beginning, or the upper layer of the earth, we have the crust. That is the thinnest layer of the earth. And then, we have the Mohorobi kick discontinuity. And then after that, we have the upper mantle and lower mantle. From that, we have the Gutenberg discontinuity. And... Below that uh, Gutenberg discontinuity, we have the outer core, and then we have the Lehmann's discontinuity, and then we have the inner core. So, any questions? Okay, if there is none, let us have an activity. Uh, in your activity, you are going to draw your own version of the uh, layers of the earth you will be graded according to your creativity 30 percent um of course you also have to be uh, graded by 30 percent on the correctness on the layers of the earth and then you have the remaining 40 percent uh based on your description of your uh uh drawing or activity okay you have to explain why why the upper layer of the earth is called like that or something like that okay so you have to explain each of your drawing with a short description below your drawing and then that will be submitted to our google classroom okay and that it will be graded by again creativity 30 percent correctness 30 percent and description which is 40 percent with the total percentage of 100 percent okay you have 30 minutes to do that submission will be given uh, on this time and then any questions about the activity if there is none i will also prepare a quiz on your uh, google classroom uh, i will post it later after you have submitted your activity and then for the assignment, you are going to, what I call this, uh, identify the four layers or four subsystems of the planet Earth. And then provided that you have a uh, description of it, you are just going to find out what are the four subsystems of the layer of the Earth. And then you are going to give the definition of each it's as simple as that so any questions about the assignment I will repeat the assignment will be going uh, you are going to find out the four subsystems of the earth and then you will give definitions of each okay any questions again if there is none that's all for today and you have to finish your activity to be submitted on your Google Classroom.